Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the DZMC Gaming Channel. Today, uh, we are going to jump in and take our turn on our brand new season, brand new game, placement game against a gentleman by the name of Le Leriquin. Leriquin? I'm assuming it's a guy. I don't even know if there's any women playing this game. It's got to be, right? Shout out to me if, in the comment section if you know of any female players that play this game. I'd be curious to see that. Let's take a see what our friend did as Japan. Two transports and a complex. So he's not expecting a KJF. Oh, look what he did. Took out my... Wow, dude, with just fighters? Wait, what did he do? Wait, not combat move. Combat. Yunnan. We got Yunnan. British Japan went to destroy one infantry, lost one infantry. So he sent all three of his infantry there. That's a target. Um, on way. Oh, yes, we held on. Defenders lost one infantry. Japan retreated to Kingsley with one infantry. Oh, you retreated with one. That's interesting as well. I think I had one infantry and one infantry and a fighter he brought to that battle. What am I doing? I might have continued that, actually. I don't know. But it, there's nothing wrong with leaving it there. One aircraft carrier, one destroyer, one submarine, and one fighter. I lost one submarine and one fighter. Okay. Oh, he, Why did he bring... Did he bring his carrier to that fight? No, he didn't. One submarine, two fighters, one cruiser, one bomber. He didn't bring his carrier. So he must not have taken a he must not have taken a casualty on that. His fighter is a casualty. Destroyed one aircraft carrier, one destroyer, one submarine, and one fighter. And lost one submarine, one fighter. So that means Oh, he took a fighter as a casualty. Okay, this is strange. I don't know what happened here. He didn't move it to fight. So now I've got to kill that. And I can. I can bring fighter, destroyer, battleship, other fighter, and bomber to this fight. I don't want to send the battleship, but I have to kill this. I can't allow his carrier to live. If he's going to kill my carrier, I'll kill his. All right. Okay, so... Um, oh, wait, I wanted to see what he did with 17 destroyed, one aircraft carrier, one transfer. Lost no units in battle. Two fighters. That's all he moved to that. I guess, yeah, a one at two against two at three. I don't know. I don't know. I, well, it worked, obviously, so what can I do to that? Can I punish him? One, two, three, four, five. No. One, two, three, four. I can bring two fighters and a bomber to that fight. That would kill his other carrier, though. That'd be an interesting development if I killed both of his carriers. And he doesn't need them, really. Should I take this? Or should I let Russia take it? Ooh, I can attack this, too. One-on-one. -on -one. Chance to hit, kill a plane. Yeah. And take his complex. Well, for now. That'd be an interesting development as well. Let the Russians take this. Okay, so we're going to do our standard uh, KGF buy, which is carrier, two transports, oh, I'm going to need a destroyer, and I think it's two infantry is the buy, or do I need the destroyer? Okay, I've got two transports now. They're not needed here yet. I can send them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Can't really send them up. I can 
send them here. Take Finland, let them take uh, Norway. So I've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So two transports. Can it hit my battleship? It can hit it with a bomber. Assuming I have a battleship to survive. All right, I'm going to go with that. I'll go with the two. I don't know if I can buy a sub here, actually. It might not be a bad idea either. Still has one destroyer in the water. Right, we'll figure that out next turn. Let's go with this. We are going to take a stab at this. One, two, three, four. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to put the two infantry here, too. Or maybe one. Block it. It for combat. Okay, come on, baby. My planes weren't hitting in a Manus game. Little they'll hit here. Nice. Oh, that is super sweet. That's how you want that to go. So the other one goes that way too. Love to take a plane. Got it. It's okay. All right. We're going to want him here. And we're going to want... Uh, did we want them there, actually? for a second. Kind of needed back here. Yeah, they're not they're not going to do anything here. He can take them out with a tank and an infantry and planes. One, two, three. Actually, these planes can't reach. This plane can. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He's only got one plane he can bring to that fight. And I can put a Russian in there with him. And take this. One, two, three, four. Take this. If I take it clean, that's five guys he's got to deal with. With one, pl with one fighter. He's got a battleship hit. One, two, three, four, five. The bomber can reach. If I do put two guys here, I can put the Russians here as well. Oh boy, I'm in a... Hmm. I legit don't know which way is the best way to move this. Um, I 
If I leave them there, they're dead. They are kind of needed here. That frees him up to really go after this. Well, that saves India. So it's a good trade off. Send one. Send one. See how it works out. That bomber can go back this way. These two fighters can go there. Transport can go here. Guys, this way. Up. to send a four after a three. Take that battle. He is kind of an aggressive player, though. He might take that battle. But I'll let him. I will invite that. I feel like I'm missing something. Round one, the score is 147 to 143. I shouldn't have the lead after round one. So I think things are going well for me. Now, here, um, question. Can I hit Karelia and Ukraine and still be able to defend Caucasus and Moscow? More planes, yes. So if I just take Ukraine, can he stack West Russia? 11 and 8 is 19 guys he can put there. I will have, let's assume we use any combination of three guys here. So we'll have, see, two infantry and an artillery here and two fighters. I think maybe two infantry, two artillery, actually, to make sure we get it. So that'll leave um, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That'll go here. Sixteen to hit his nineteen. Wait, did I count the plane? The plane's going to be busy here. Sixteen's not going to be enough. I think he can stack it. Oh, that's not hit backs. That's actually yeah. It's really not even that. It's three, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, potentially 14 can hit that. That's not enough. So that's 
14 plus. What if we build here, though? So wait a minute. 16, 17, 18. That's aggressive, though. 18. I don't know if I like the plane. Really infantry heavy. Damn it. Four and four is a little more aggressive. If I grab this, that'll be two. Grab this, that'll be one. If I grab this, I can get five here. What does that look like? That would be 28 again. That's not bad. I kind of like that. Okay, we are going to grab this. And we're going to keep the pressure up. So we're going to hit this. Do I want to hit it with a plane, though? Risky, right? Very risky. And I don't think I want to. I think what I want to do is use these planes here. So we'll go one round of combat. If we get a hit and he gets a hit back, we'll go another round. I think it's a I think it's a ninety percent five against two. I think. I think. All right. Well, let's hope it is. And am I recording? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Okay. All right. Okay. Listen, boys. Just got a feeling it's good. Now I want to get out of the routine of this whole zero dice crap. Come on. Got it. Oh, nice. Got it really nice. Glad to continue that. I was thinking about not. <laughs> A couple hits here would be nice off the bat. Oh! Ooh, took it heavy. That's a three stack. You uh, can't ignore that. All right, so now we're going to take this guy here. This guy is going to go to... Here. These guys are going to go here in case he decides he wants to... Now he has a chance, he has a choice to see, he could stack this too, but I got the tanks that can hit. Along with the fighters, three infantry plus I'm building two and two. That's five and two. Yeah, I want the infantry actually all here. Actually, don't have to worry about a blitz. One, two, that's all he can do there. I'm kind of caught between a rock and a hard place here, aren't I? See, two and two, that's four. I doubt he risks tanks to go there. I don't know what kind of player this guy is, so it's hard to tell, really. So he has to dedicate some guys to kill this. I can't believe I missed this, these two planes here. What an idiot I am. How many planes does he have? Where are his planes? Two here. Well, two I could have got here. 
damn it, that, that would have been large. That's four or five. So he's got five total planes. He wants to hit this with planes. He wants to hit that, but he wants to take it without tanks. Unless he's stacking it. But I don't think he can. 6, 10, 11, and 8 is 19. So he can stack either Ukraine or West Russia. He can't do both. Don't need to worry about sending guys down here now. I think India's going to be okay. Because it doesn't matter what I do, I'm caught between a rock and a part. If I stack Russia, he could take Ukraine. If I stack Caucasus, he can take West Russia or Archangel. He can move in there with five infantry and five tanks. That doesn't make sense either, does it? Now he could lose tanks there that, in that fight. I almost like leaving one guy up here, actually. Or do I? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> All right, we'll go with that. I was debating whether to put the anti-aircraft in this in, in this battle here, but if he's stacking it, he could just choose to stack it and. I'm wasting an AA gun. So let's play it meta, sort of meta, I guess, and how you handle this, but it, it is curious. Maybe one guy here. All right, let's go with that. Now, <clears throat> his transports, anywhere along the sea line, he has to guard, because this bomber can hit him. One, two, three, four, five, six and along with this plane. One, two, three, four. So he can't just willy-nilly it. So we'll see how he plays that. So we'll go two here, two here. Let's go something like that. All right, collecting 28 again. That's good. I like that. Allies have a firm lead. What's that, honey? Oh, yeah, looks good. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, folks. My wife just, or my wife, my daughter took a bite of her um, bagel and cream cheese. Um... She could decide to take Ukraine and stack West Russia. But I think I have enough now to hit that. That'll be um, 7, 12 infantry, 4 artillery is 18, um, 3 tanks is uh, 21 plus 2 fighters. That's definitely a strafing target if he does that. And I will strafe it. And that'll kind of decide the game, because if it goes really well, 
it's good for us. If it goes really badly, it's bad for us, and we can lose, because we don't have our defenses set up yet. Although the, the fact that we're delaying Japan a little bit here is interesting as well. Of course, the British sub's going to stay in the Pacific. Maybe even somewhere down the line, maybe build a transport. I don't know. We'll see how the we'll see how the shuck goes. All right. Well, it's clearly he's not online, and he didn't come on. He didn't take his turn until uh, very early this morning. So um, looks like we're going to be a one turn a day kind of thing. So we'll leave it at that, folks. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, leave your comments in the comment section. I love the fact that y'all had no problem pointing out that I could have killed those two fighters in Northwest. <laughs> and I should have, and you're absolutely right. I legit missed it. And uh, that's why I talk about it all the time, and I don't practice what I preach, but eye discipline. Make sure your eyes are disciplined on the correct places in the first round, especially the first round. You know, you need to have them focused in certain areas of the map because those are key. Um, but I didn't. So hit the like button, subscribe if you like that kind of play. <laughs> if you, just, if you like to watch people make mistakes, then I'm the guy to watch. Um, hit the notifications bell, and we'll catch you guys on Japan's, uh, <clears throat> sorry, not Japan, on the Allies. The UK's round turn turn. But I, I like it. I like the way the game's shaping up so far. It looks okay. Rush is going to be a little bit tricky to play, but I think we can get there. Um, so stay with us, folks, and uh, we'll, um, we'll catch you on uh, the UK's round two turn. Thanks for watching.